Hi, uh, my name is Aldo Halid. Uh, I'm a prop artist, or uh, I guess you can say toy artist. I, I build props for commercials or movies uh, as my professions. I also have a store and a toy museum in Bandung. Um, in Star Wars Day, I'm a creator or originator of the concept. I think the turnout is very good. We expected uh, a number of visitors uh, to be around 7,000 and I think we reached that uh, since we reached 3,500 yesterday. And also uh, the enthusiasm of the people that came uh, were what we wanted, what we expected. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm quite amazed that the uh, amount of fans uh, be it a casual fan or hardcore fan uh, in, in Indonesia uh, is so far. I mean, I've seen pictures of uh, Star Wars Day Bandung last yeah. year. And the first time I'm personally experiencing the Star Wars Day Jakarta. Yeah. How, is there any way you can explain the, this phenomenon, the, the severe liking for Star Wars for Indonesia? Well, uh, I think it's not Indonesia, but the whole world. The real advantage that Star Wars have over other pop culture uh, items is that they have a head start of around 40 years. Uh, they're, they're almost 40 years old now, so it gives them plenty of time to uh, reach every corner of the world. I think it's one of the main reasons that uh, Star Wars is so popular worldwide. Well, when we started uh, Star Wars Day with Star Wars Day Bandung, we originally wanted uh, just uh, for that event because uh, it's actually a, a celebration of 35 years anniversary of Star Wars. But uh, then uh, uh, our friends in Jakarta, they, they wanted, hey, let's, let's do this kind of stuff in here, but in Jakarta, and yeah, that's what we did, but that's what we did in Star Wars Day Jakarta. Uh, and I think uh, a couple of other cities started contact with us and they like want to think, how come you don't bring Star Wars Day to our city? So I guess uh, right now we are, well, it's not sad, but uh, we are playing with the idea of having a Star Wars Day each year in a different city in Indonesia. Nice, that's nice. Well, that's a difficult question, but I think to me Star Wars is uh, a lifestyle maybe, because uh, I grew up with Star Wars, uh, it's, it's among uh, the first three or two movies that I ever saw when I was just a kid, and I think it, it has been with me growing up all these years and it has shaped my life, so yeah, I guess Star Wars is more like a lifestyle now than just a uh, a cheap science fiction movie from America. Well, I guess I would be a bad Jedi. <laughs> well, uh, I like to think of myself as Han Solo actually. But the strange thing is, I like to play with lightsabers. So, uh, so in the alternate universe, Han Solo is a yeah, maybe maybe it's, it's a Jedi. Yeah, man, definitely. I mean, uh, a lot of people are like, uh, we won't be as good as the original. And, uh, well, when first you saw, the first time you saw the original, I'm pretty sure that it's not that good. So whatever comes this way, uh, I look forward to it.